France uh, beating Iceland by one goal to nil. Uh, they're still behind Turkey in the group as we welcome in World Cup winner uh, Frank Leboeuf to the show. Uh, Frank, this was very lacklustre France, certainly in the first half. Uh, but in the end, they got the goal and I suppose the three points is all that matters. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, I think they deserve to win. They didn't play well the first uh, first half. Uh, um, but as you said, guys, you have to be two to tango. And uh, Iceland didn't offer anything, you know, to to that game too. And uh, to the people who were watching it, uh, they just tried to defend. They were counting on set pieces to maybe get a chance to score. But otherwise, they didn't uh, propose anything uh, correct to 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 the football. So France, little by little, won the, the battle in the midfield. They were physically stronger. And uh, as soon as they scored the goal, uh, spaces were opening up and uh, were opened up, sorry. And, uh, and they, 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 they had some chances to, uh, to even win for a larger score. But um, we didn't see a good game. We saw Sissoko being the best player for me on the, on the field. Uh, when he shouldn't have played because uh, Kante was just injured before the game. And Griezmann, Griezmann was defending a, a lot, working hard, tackling everywhere, but he wasn't as, at his best offensively. But uh, at the end of the day, as you say, the three points are there. We play on Monday against Turkey. We already, I think, and we can say, we already know that uh, we can go through and be qualified for the European Championship. But still, things has to be done to be better than that. And it's Olivier Giroud who gets the winner, Frank. Yeah, that's, that's good for him. I mean, he played like, what, 16 minutes in the Champions League since the beginning of the season, or since September. Uh, but he, he, he worked hard and uh, did his best. And uh, Giroud is Giroud. He's, uh, I guess, like the Didier Deschamps' son. And, uh, and you <laughs> always love your son, so you pick him all the time. And he, he serves the national team very well. I mean, he... 94 cap, uh, I think it's his 38th or 39th goal for France, very close to Michel Platini. Uh, so he's becoming a legend. And now he doesn't even play, doesn't need to even play for, for Chelsea to be picked and to be, uh, to be good for, with the national team, scoring goals. Olivier Giroud and legend in the same sentence. And Thank Michel you very Platini. much. That's enough from you, Frank Leboeuf. Uh, <laughs> just a reminder, in Group B, this is how things stand. Uh, Portugal with a 3-0 win over Luxembourg. Ronaldo getting a goal in that game. Ukraine, though, with that 2-0 win over Lithuania puts them very much in the driving seat to automatically qualify for the championships next summer. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.